and sneeze. Make another hit. Oh, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, what are we going to do? So, so today, I think we're going to dive in on how much it costs me to get to 558 horsepower on a stock block, stock head, stock internal, full 85 car. So my 20 thinks I'm at 600. Uh, long story short, lost power on my car. No more. Was, I wasn't getting spark anymore. Coming to find out, it was a ground wire. I thought it was my trigger sensor, so I brought a new one. Put that on. Um, my boost kicks on sooner. Everything kicks on sooner. I made the same power at 6,000 RPM. And my car revs out at 8,400, so I had 2,000 RPM to go. But I couldn't fully max it out because my injectors were dirty because my car sat for a while and I was running lean. So, on another note, these parts might fluctuate. It might be, it might cost a little bit more uh, now because of uh, inflation and all that. It, might, it shouldn't be that crazy. It should be around the same price. But yeah, we're gonna dive in on how to get to 558. So I want 600 horsepower on a couple hundred dollars. Not just playing, a couple thousand. Yeah, and then uh, babe, wife, if you're watching this, put it on mute because it costs a lot. Nah, just like, it ain't cost that much, but let's go. So, let's start the, let me go to my notes and look at the list real quick. Let me grab the heater, it's a little nippy on I am in the high desert, so it's a little nippy. So let's go, I'm going to read off the list and yeah, see how it goes from there. So currently running an ISR um, 3576 turbo, I spent 750 on it, I believe it's about, I think it's on sale right now actually for 810 so usually it runs around $900 but it's on sale right now for 810 but I spent 750 on it, I got it on sale. So. With the AR, with the air ratio of uh, 0.82, uh, that's connected to a CX manifold, um, turbo manifold. I spent 285 dollars on that. Um, I got new studs for the turbo manifold. That was 50 dollars. Um, the oil line, uh, then the water line for the turbo was 111 dollars. Um, Oh yeah, and so I got these stage eight bolts for the headers and for the turbo. So for the headers it was seventy dollars, and for the turbo it was eighty, eighty-eight dollars. So the stage eight bolts are basically. I'll show you guys after the video. Hopefully I don't forget. But basically, long story short, every two days my header and my turbo, my my header turbo manifold and my turbo will unbolt, and I have a major exhaust leak. And I kept doing it. I did this thing three times. Loctite, or uh, yeah, Loctite, whatever. Red Loctite. Torqued the crap out of these things, and they were still back out and come undone. So that was really irritating me because some of the bolts are really hard to get to, and yeah. So so I have a Turbo Smart um, Gen 5 um, Turbo, or my bad. Gen 5 Wastegate, that was $296. So, then I have the Wastegate downpipe, which was $28. That was like a cheap eBay eBay one right there. Um, my exhaust system, I have an ISR, that one was $342. That's how much it is right now. I think back then I paid $320, $315 or something. Um, my fuel rail and ejectors, I spent $680 on. Um, the fuel rail is clean injectors, and then my injectors are actually Bosch 1000s. So I think right now those are going for $800. And I got it for $680. So those went up $130. Bucks. I have a ISR fuel regulator, which is uh, $219. I have a Wabro, just universal. That one was about uh, $120. And then I have a Detsworks uh, fuel pump relay. That was uh, $56. So, if you're running an older car, maybe in the 90s, and you have a fuel pump, and you swap the fuel pump out, you're going to get the fuel pump relay because um, it helps give your fuel pump the, the exact 12 volts that it needs. 
So in older cars, your car has 12 volt battery, but your fuel pump might be getting eight volts and that will cause it to have premature, it basically prematurely it will stop working and it won't have a long lifespan. So make sure you get um, a fuel relay or uh, what, whatever, just a fuel relay to uh, keep your fuel pump lasting a lot longer. Uh, what is this? Oh, my PF, my PTFE fuel lines from Amazon. I just found the fittings, pieced them all together. It's about $150, so you can run 85, meth, alcohol, basically any uh, fuel you want. Or even oil, too, to be honest with you. Uh, I have a Heltec boost controller, which was $125. Heltec air um, intake temp sensor, that's a 50 bucks. I have a Heltec flex fuel sensor which is hundred eighty dollars so my flex fuel is actually not working right now so I can't go back to 91 I'm only I'm stuck on E85 but if you're just gonna run straight E85 and you don't want to go run 91 you don't really need a flex fuel sensor because you could just get tuned on E85 and you're good but if you want to switch from E85 to 91 back to E85 you need a flex fuel sensor Oh shoot, my page is left. Alright. Um, and then I have a couple things that you don't really need. It's like a turbo blanket. Uh, I spent uh, 90 bucks on that. My thermal exhaust wrap. I spent $30 on that one. And then my oil catch can was an eBay one. I spent $26. So that total right there is $3,648. So now, my ECU, I have a Helltech Elite 2500. So I went with the 2500 because I think the uh, for a Helltech I think I need at least a 2000. If I'm not mistaken, but that uh, the 2500 is only like another 300, 400 bucks more. So I, I went with that, which was 2400 dollars. But uh, I went with that because if I ever got rid of the car, sold the car, I will keep the ECU because the ECU is good for. Um, Good for V8s, up to three rotors. Um, it's good for VQs with the four cam sense or four cams. Basically, I can use that ECU in any other car. So if I ever sold the car, or sold the motor, I would keep that ECU. So you buy it once and you keep it forever, basically. And then I went with the Clutch Masters Clutch, a 725 series, which is $1,600. So let me go back a little bit. So after the $2,400 ECU, the total is up to $6,048. And then after the Clutch Masters 725 series, I spent $1,600 on that. It came out to close your ears, babe. Um, my wife's going to get mad about this number. It came out to $7,648. So, 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 so basically, you don't have to spend $7,648. You could get a cheaper clutch. Maybe for 600 bucks and save a thousand right there, so you'd be at 30. So you'd be at 4600, and then the ECU you could spend another thousand. You don't have to spend 2400. You could buy like a Lynx ECU, maybe 8 EM, whatever. It might be around 1500 or a thousand maybe, and you should be around 5500 or 6000 dollars to get to 558 to 600 and the RB25 stock everything. So. So yeah, so that's basically uh, the build. That's basically how much money I spent to get to the horsepower. And oh yeah, let me show you the stage eight uh, locking fasteners that I use to keep my manifold and turbo on. So let me show you guys. Yeah, so this is basically what I have, a stage eight locking nut. See that little triangle thing? It rested against the um, header. So if we would loosen it, it will only turn maybe, barely turn, but it'll still be tight. So that's what I have on the car, that's what I have to buy. All right, I'm gonna show you guys on my phone. Mine's are nuts, but yeah. There's a locking washer, it rests against the header right there. You put the locking pin on, and then it doesn't, and you can't back it out because that piece is resting, or riding against the header. So that's what I have basically on my car to stop the headers and the turbo from unbolting. Light, so, so yeah, so. If you guys have any other questions, hit me up, and 
let me know and I'll answer the comments. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Hope you guys like the video and catch you guys next time.